What is beauty, after all? Is beauty only in the eye of the beholder? What gives us this sense of beauty? We see that beauty is very similar. We associate beauty with power and good health. And yet, beauty is subjective. Why do we like beautiful things? Beauty is beautiful, but what gives beauty is beauty. If we fall in love with a person, for us this person is beautiful. But what if we fall in love with an ugly person? Is this person still beautiful? I found Greek statues, the most beautiful ones a man can ever imagine. And yet, I cannot fall in love with a statue. Do you believe that beauty is something objective? I think that beauty has subjective and objective components. After all, nobody would say that this sea is ugly. And yet, somebody could prefer mountains to sea which is subjective. I like both mountains and sea, but if I were to prefer one, I would prefer mountains. The problem of aesthetics is a deep philosophical problem. Look at this image. What is it? Ugly or beautiful? And this image? What is it? Ugly or beautiful? If you answered ugly to the first one and beautiful to the second one, I would say that you have good aesthetics. Why was the ancient world so much involved with beauty? The legacy of the ancient world is a great one. But I would say that the modern world has forgotten this ancient beauty. Why is it the case? If we want to have a better world, we must look at our ancestors. Mm. 
but not only that, also to progress, which we must do with good will. Otherwise, we go towards ugliness, and that's ugly.